The answer to the great question... Yes. ...of life, the universe, and everything... Yes. ...is... Yes. ...is... Yes. ...42! a tough assignment. Forty-two? Is that all you've got to show for seven and a half million years' work? I think the problem is that you've never actually known what the question is. But it was the great question. The ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything. Yes, but what actually is it? question. What is the ratio of the gravitational force to the electrical force? And that is illustrated on the next slide. The ratio of the gravitational attraction to the electrical repulsion is given by a number with 42 digits and goes off here. It's all this is written very carefully out, so that's 42 digits. Now therein lies a very deep mystery. Where could such a tremendous number come from? That means if you ever had a theory from which both of these things are to come, how could they come in such disproportion? From what equation has a solution which has, for one, two kinds of forces, an attraction and a repulsion, with that fantastic ratio? People have looked for such a large ratio in other places. They're looking for a large number. They hope, for example, that there's another large number. And if you want a large number, why not take the diameter of the universe to the diameter of a proton. Amazingly enough, it also is a number with 42 digits. 